Okay. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. Well, also, I don't like that the fact that you put your briefcase. hat. What would be why do you have a hat a on? Fake briefcase, no, no. Fake briefcase I mean, the hair done. Doesn't... It's done. It's done. So why didn't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I understand. I just want to see your hair though. I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with you feel me, Chicago women, most of my life. You okay, you feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles, you feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all no. that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother. So. No problem. See, see, right there, right, right there is where she, listen, I, I got this version because I can see a little bit clearer. I don't like how she goes, it's just weird talking to my little brother. And then when she tries to back, but I say, you know, I'm saying you're sounding my little brother. It's like, ma'am, what are you trying to get across at this point? I don't understand why women do this shit. And people wonder why. Guys, give me just one quick second. I don't understand why women do this nonsense where they want to belittle a man. Because listen, I don't listen. I don't really understand what is coming across for these women that makes them think if they go, hey, you know what? If I disrespect this man, call him my little brother, and she's gonna go on to say that his vocabulary and dictionary and the way he you know his vocabulary isn't up to par, madam. First of all, it doesn't really matter what your vocabulary is. Can you get across what you're trying to say? Right? Using big words and using a certain vocabulary doesn't put you in a certain place. It's the best people and the best speakers in the world are the people who can get their point across in almost the easiest way that almost a fifth grader can explain. I mean, a fifth grader can understand it. Because when people get out here and they try to talk with so over your head, like there's some people who just talk like that. Jordan Peterson, he normally talks pretty over your head. OK, he's not trying to do that. I don't think he does it to be smart. I don't think he does it to belittle anybody, but that's just how he talks. He was talking that way before he became as we know, as Jordan Peterson. So it's not like he started doing that on purpose. he That's who he was. I mean, not to say he started doing that once he got the fame. He was already talking that way. He can't help the way his vocabulary is. He is a psychologist after, after all, okay? However, for us people out here who didn't grow up talking that way, we talked a certain way to get our points across I don't understand. I can talk to college. I've talked to college people. If y'all watch any of me doing the OMI TV and everything, even when I use the vocabulary that I use, and I don't use a profound vocabulary, I still can speak. You know that my knowledge compared to a college student is completely different. Now, obviously, in their field of study, they're going to be able to overtalk me. They're going to be able to be better than me. If we're talking about biology, talk about engineering, and that's their field, I'm not going to be able to compete with that. I will listen to this. But just to say, just in general, like when it comes to my field of expertise or when it comes to my field of people, I'm going to be able to talk with them. And that's the whole point. I'm not going to walk up to people and be like, hey, let's talk biology. But if we start talking about people, we start talking about things I know of. Yes, I'm going to be able to keep up with the vast majority of people, not because of my vocabulary, but because of my experience. And I know how to explain stuff to where people understand it, at least most of the time. Not always, at least most of the time. So, ladies, quit this bullshit of, oh, you know what? He's just not smart enough because I went to college and I went this. And that whole, I'm a PhD. It's not going to get you nowhere in this world. I'd have played that for y'all, but I don't know if it even make any noise. I'm still working on it. Struggle streaming to the fullest. I still got to get my, all my hotkeys back down. What did I make this? Is it, what is that? Is that a dot or a com? Hold on, guys. Okay. <clears throat> It'll be a long day. You can't say little. I'm you. We the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him, though. That's so because talking... we from the same place. So you don't like no. You don't like not. people from your. Hometown. I don't understand what she means by sound like my little brother. What do you, if she's if she's saying it's not because they're both from Chicago, they both from that same kind of life. Then what do you mean by it? she? She sounds like. Your little brother. I don't understand. See, that's what I'm talking about. She's just saying stuff out her ass. Like, what do you mean then? That's what I would, I would have pressed her. I'm like, okay, so what do you mean I, t- I sound like your little brother? Like, be specific. Specific. I'm not trying to say Pacific Ocean. No, specific. I'm not good with that word. I never said and that. And that's respectful. 
I could respect I that. You know what it is, really, guys? It's because she's pretty. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. She's pretty. And because she's pretty, she thinks she can just talk and be any kind of way. She thinks she can talk and, and just be any kind of way with anybody she wants to. And she can say this disrespectful stuff and get away with it. And I'm pretty. I'm gorgeous. But if y'all notice one thing, I want y'all to take a close look as we're talking here. Sorry, I muted it. Wow. Look, okay, so I want y'all to take a quick look. I'm going to make the screen bigger for you guys. Can you see this right here? Y'all see that? Look at her hand. Do y'all see a ring finger? Yes. Do you see a ring on that finger? Absolutely not. You know she's single. She probably gonna be single for the rest of her days. And I, man, man, avoid these creatures of the night. Avoid these creatures of the night. These women like this. They are uh, what do you call those uh, uh, insects? Is it uh, not locusts? Uh, the praying mantis. Bite your head off. Eat it for dinner. A little bit of seasoning. On your day to day speak. Yeah, let's go back speak to what she said on that day to day speak. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. Briefcase. The dude said that. Took him been through the same. That's all yeah. that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother. So. No problem. You can't say little. I'm, you, we the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him though. That's so because we're from the same place. So you don't like, no, you don't like not. people from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. <laughs> I can respect I that. just want a man with a higher vocabulary. Okay. Which you don't what have. the fuck does that mean? I want a man with a higher vocabulary. First of all. Okay. Ma'am, he's in a setting. He's not in a business meeting. And have you ever been to a business meeting, ma'am? You ever been in a KPI meeting? You ever been in those? Ma'am, it is not that crazy. It is not like... I've been in those kind of meetings with all types of people. There are people who have... Talk so intellectual, it's 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 elegant. And there's some people who don't, but that doesn't mean that the person who talks more elegant is far more superior intellectually than they are. In a business meeting, it is about ideas, it is about getting things done, it is about hitting those metrics. She's talking like a higher vocabulary means higher intellect. And the way she's speaking, to be honest with you. The way she's talking, I wouldn't think, man, this girl's an intellectual beast. I don't think that. Based off the way she talks, she sounds more ignorant than she sounds intelligent. Based off the way she speaks, listen, there is something called awareness, okay? Self-awareness, social awareness, reading the room. You, The way you're speaking to this man makes you sound dumb. Because the way you're coming across, it makes it sound like you don't have anything going on up there. Like you're literally just coming out to bash this man. Because the what you're saying has no point to it. One, you say he sounds like his little brother. And he's like, okay, we're from the same place. And she's like, that's not it. That's like, what are you talking about? And she, it's, so what she, it sounds like she's trying to say is that my little brother can't speak either. My little brother is has a, a low vocabulary. A lower vocabulary. It's just... <laughs> These women make me sick. On your day-to-day -day speak. Look at the woman in the back's face. Look at the one back in the woman. She's even face. like, what the? Watch okay. the face. On your day-to-day -day speak. See, even her face is like, okay. Lord have mercy. On your day-to-day -day speak. <laughs> Speaking to all the other women, trust. I know. You're good. I, 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 I talk like where I was born from. I got I got a real like to be honest, honest, guys, and just looking at the brother outside of his pants, his pants is kind of a little bit uh undersized compared to that jacket. It's really overthinking it. Outside of that, though, it's not like he it's not like he looks raggedy, it's not like he looks dumb. He does have that street wear. I get it. I'm not from Chicago. I don't understand that kind of wear. I'm from the country. However, She's talking as if he looks like a bum and he sounds like a bum. He's simply just talking with slang, ma'am. He's amongst other women around people his age. 
There's no need to have a high vocabulary. It just doesn't make any sense. Respect. I, I can't let you, like, you feel me, throw down what I've been through. You feel me? I'm, I never said what I, you went I'm through with. though, you, 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 you tried, though, darling. No, you feel it. me? So I want you to know, like, I'm really from struggle. I, I speak a certain type of way, but I've searched for education. I have a bachelor's That's degree. Fine. You feel me? What I what I do right now, I work mm -hmm. with people every day. So I don't want you to just throw shade on hood niggas in general. I wasn't throwing shade I on you, Because I speak with a little slang. I got a little hood to Touching play. your breast, baby I mean, girl. Educated, Tesla. baby. No, that's fine. We can move forward. Thank you. She nervous. Let's go ahead and go to our Definitely. three ladies Definitely. that still have their balloon up. Yeah. So that's all that happened is if the women didn't want to talk to you, they popped the balloon. And that's what got us to this point of him having that whole conversation. Let me continue off of this because I'm about to. <laughs> you guys remember the video I had the other day? Um, when I was still doing the Omi TVs, that woman who uh, was having a conversation with me tried to talk like I was dumb. I don't understand why women feel like they have to push this narrative that they're the smartest people on the planet. It's not even that necessary. And it's even worse with the black women. Lord, it came out of me. I, Lord, Lord, hell Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with me. Hey, hold on, baby. Listen. What makes me more frustrated when when it's when it's these young black ladies is because the narrative that's because the narrative that gets pushed so much, and you I even hear this from other races. Shout out to the media man who points this out more than anybody I know, is that even white guys and white women try to make it seem as if black men and some even some black men push this narrative that us black men are just idiots or dummies. 54% of us is uh, single and childless. 64% of us are in the middle class. We're not dumbasses. And they try to push this narrative that us black men are only doing drugs, in prison, or in a gang, getting ready to get killed. Now, I, you've heard me speak very much to my young black men about the ones I see doing that whole gang stuff. I tell them about that life. I tell them about not getting into that. I tell them where it's going to end up, how it normally ends. All of them give me the same answer. It's not going to be me. Fine. But one thing I can't stand more than that is for black women to make it feel like all of us are dumb. All of us are on the streets. All of us are gangbanging. And all of us, because we're not enrolled in college, have fallen off the planet. Black women, I understand you're the most enrolled, okay, in college. But y'all also give up the most debt and y'all go into the most useless degrees. These black women, it's not like they're going into STEM which is now called STEAM to add in graphic and designs. But you know what I mean? I don't see these women going into science, technology, uh, engineering, or math. I don't see women, black women going into this. Even the black women I know today. What do they normally, I normally hear almost, almost, oh man, I can't tell you something I hear this. What do you want to do? Social work. Social work is the answer I get most of the times, but I know other black women go into psychology, they become administrators, they go work for a hospital, they go work themselves to the ground, building up some career that's going to probably make them $60,000 a year, right? Most women, what is that, 9% of women make over $75,000 a year. Let's let's stop the cap. Let's stop acting like, because women are, <laughs> black women are enrolled, <laughs> means that they're these monumental, um, what do I explain? Like they're the CEO of Microsoft. Like they're just out here building the world. No, they're going into these little bitty jobs, doing administration, maybe work at the local DMV. You know what I mean, baby. Listen, I got no problem with black women going to college, but the reason they do it is my problem. Black women that start going back to college and start doing this every time they can't figure out a relationship because of their attitude, just like this young black lady. Their attitude gets them in so much trouble. They were, grew up with single mothers. 80% of our kids being born out of wedlock. They grow up with these single mothers. They grow up with the attitude. They grow up as a sister, uh, being a sister to their mother. And they come up and then their mothers teach them that black men are so fucking awful that these women, by the time they get to 2021, 20, they, just, they, just, they have a disdain for black men. Like, we're just lucky that if, if a black man gets a black woman, he should consider himself lucky because we ain't shit. Y'all remember the interviews I did with those black women where I asked black women, why do black women have a disdain for black men? What did all these black women say to me? Niggas ain't shit. 
That's their words, not mine. They said that. And I even asked a woman the other day, and you know what she said to me? Facts. Didn't even try to refute it. That's what I'm saying. It is ingrained in their head that black men ain't shit. And you know what, black men? Do what this young man did. You know what? Get to the point where you're just like, you know what? Well, fine. Okay, you think I'm shit? Fine, fuck it. Black men, we have done enough. We have been building ourselves up and getting ourselves to a place that's respectable. The black women want to make it seem like we're still shit? Fine. Go out there, men. Go out there, play the game. Shout out again to the media man. Black men are going out and marrying other races. Even though black women do too, they do it at a lesser rate than black men. Okay? Black men, just go out there. Stay who the hell you want. It is what it is. And you got more people who even identify as black anyway. People who are biracial, people who are Caribbean, people from there to there, Latinos, Afro-Latinos. A lot more people even say they're black anyway, who are interracial, who are biracial, or even triracial. They still claim to be black. So the black community will grow statistically. We may not be this black. We may not be straight from the motherland black, but the black lineage will have to go on another way. Okay. We knew this was coming. It's inevitable. But the reason why it happened is because black women, since that welfare shit came in, have pretty much said, I'd rather be bad all by myself. Go get into college debt, get your PhD, get your master's, go be a social worker and go make your forty five, fifty thousand dollars a year and then ask for a man who's way up here. You know what? I, and I hate even bringing race into it, but I feel like I, even the black women I'm around, they don't treat white boys like this. And I said, the reason I said white boys is because that's what they call them. When they talk about white boys, they don't, they don't, they don't treat them like they treat us niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's what they call us. And that, I feel so disrespected when a black woman calls men that. I just don't see any other race calling their men niggas. I don't see white women going around crackers. I don't see Hispanic people going around and saying those words. I don't see Asian going around saying those words. No, when a black woman talks about a black man, it's these niggas. Instead of saying these black men. But that's fine. Black men, forget it. I am I am not the man to say you lose hope. I'm always the man to say let's keep doing it. But you know what? We can't change their mind. It is stupid to keep bashing our head against the wall. These black women don't want to respect us. Fine. Fine. It is what it is. We tried. It's time to move on. Let's keep it moving. Anyway, you let me know what y'all think about that. Moving on. All right, guys. On to the next 